Welcome back to Soundwaves TV. Uh, we've got to do this now before we lose complete control. Uh, of course, we're going to masturbate. And I want to go back for this subject to a moment I shared on the lawn of Shoreline a couple of years ago. I was watching a very popular legacy act with some of my favorite humans. Some are here at this table. And uh, the lead singer of the band, Hart, Ann Wilson, came out and said, I want to play a new song for you. And the person I was with, Mr. McCaffrey over there, actually like shouted <laughs> from the lawn. No, we didn't come here to hear new songs. We want to hear your hits. Oh my God, not. I, as, as a little bit of a disclaimer, Joe had been drinking in the parking lot heavily before. We had beer out in the trunk. But he and does we bring up a very good point. But it does bring up a very right, good point. Because like, take an act like Tears for Fears, who very recently successfully positioned a new album. And then as you were saying, mm -hmm. the Rolling Stones drop, the Rolling freaking Stones drop a song during COVID and nobody even blinks. Some yeah. artists can do it. Some artists can't do it. But I'm going to start with you, Joe. Why do you want to just hear the hits and not let these artists express themselves? <laughs> okay, so I thought about this, you know, and uh, I do remember saying that. And <laughs> you want to hold this? Fuck mic? yeah! Play your fucking hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Play your f play your hits. No, it's okay. So this is what this is what it boils down to. So I, I, you know, I, I've heard the Tears for Fears also, uh -huh. and it's really good. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's, I, I think, and I think that's where the line is for me because it's just like, I want to hear the hits. I go to the concerts to hear the hits on a lot of these mm -hmm. artists. If you bring good music to the table. But good is so subjective. That's right. That's right. I mean, well, yeah. What, it better be good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I better either, like this shit. Either that or play your hits. <laughs> 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 okay, so coming at it from a different angle, uh, our favorite artist, like you're an artist. Morris, you're an artist. Yeah. Let's say you have like the, the biggest hit of your career. Yeah. Now you got to play that for the rest of your life. Let's say you I have- I want to do that actually. I, yeah, <laughs> but let's say you're fortunate Please enough- Please give me a hit. <laughs> let's Better say- Play till let, I'm 90. <laughs> let's say you have 10 hits and that's all people want to hear. And you're like, no, I want to say this. I want to put this out. I want to track this type of music. How do you as an artist feel being stuck in that little corner? And explain it to Joe while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I'm, I, I, I think my opinion is going to be one of a minority here. Wait a minute. I mean- Wait. No. <laughs> I guess that goes without saying. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, actually. It goes so far without saying. We, we, we want to get your token opinion on this. Oh, <laughs> will you please? Will you ahead. please? <laughs> Slide that right in there, everybody. <laughs> what are we talking I about I would again? figure out a way. I, if, 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 if I was so fortunate and so blessed, I would figure out a way. Look, hey, you guys got a new album out, and here's one song. I'd, I'd give everybody a heads up, but I'd also tell them, hey, this is not your time to go run for a beer or to the, <laughs> right, to the restaurant. Right, right, right. And I promise it's only going to be one song. Just want you guys to check it out. Like, no one in the world world has heard this is unreleased so here's this new song i'm gonna play for you guys you guys let me know what you think of it you know at the end of it it's three and a half four minutes long no long solos okay a little solo in the middle but then that's it <laughs> and then get back to the hits right i would i would i would really consider who the hell is here like if i was in the game you know for like 10 years or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. by then you're a legacy artist because a lot of mm -hmm. bands and artists right. don't make it that yeah, long yeah, yeah. so if you're still hanging around that long then you're good sure. that would be my take on it i would really try to be mindful of why people bought that ticket mm -hmm. why the people in the front row mm -hmm. dropped three bills on that damn ticket <laughs> <laughs> why so i would try to be mindful of it that's just that's just me and i know it's rare because we've all been to those shows when, okay we got a new album out want to play some more and they want to play like you know four yeah. or five songs from an album and i'm yeah. this could be uh they, they go to deep deep side b cuts yeah yeah knock like, that no! shit off yeah <laughs> no, yeah play that number one this tune. is not this is not i i came here to relive some memories to hear some good songs <laughs> yeah. you know Thank the you reason more. why i'm even oh. here so yeah no i totally get it joe i yeah, think I'm to totally kind of piggyback off that it also comes down to uh you know like you said it depends on who is in attendance for these shows uh you know for someone in my generation uh going there like i know only the hits like and especially if like a band it has waited like what 15 20 years to put out new music like look at GNR mm -hmm. like they weigh so 13 far. years between now yeah so right. it's like why would I like this is literally just a cash grab for those new music mm -hmm. and all that stuff yeah. it's like just play the hits like I love how like I think it was like Foo Fighters like all right we're gonna get done with all the new stuff and then we're gonna play all the stuff you really like to hear mm -hmm. like that's what I like mm -hmm. about like you know, we got new stuff 
But we all know why the hell. But you're that kind of comes back to Morris's point of being mm-hmm. honest with your audience, yeah. right? Saying here's some new stuff, like stick with us, and then we're gonna get to the, yeah. the stuff mm-hmm. you yeah. know. Yeah. I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with well, saying that. And don't but, punch it all up. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know, yeah. yeah. Play, play the jams. Play throw one in there. Play some more jams. Yeah. Throw another one in there. Yeah. You know? But now coming back to like you know the now the generation of how you get music and how you find music is like you know people. After my generation, yeah, I'm, I'm only 34 years old. Mm-hmm. Sorry to make you guys feel old. Um, <laughs> but the fact is, black don't crack, Leah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm straight. Hey, black you know, crack, he, right? he talking um, to you, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> don't say it, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to. This is a for one, keep for one. Once, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> write this down. It's history. But it's not it's like in history. It's not like we have MTV where everyone just can go home, turn on their TV, and listen to new music right away, you actually have to go out of your way, go online, go to YouTube, go to Spotify, look for that new music sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why would I want to hear the new stuff that I didn't know you came out with until I see it on like a news like article? Just play, like like I said, just play the stuff. I, I agree with Joe. Play the hits. Get on with the show. I have a bit of a different angle on this. Okay. I don't mind musicians doing new music because I'm married to a musician and I know how important it is to their soul to be able to continually create and continually evolve and push themselves well, that's and do the thing. new continually stuff. Continually co- right. create. Right. Yeah. Continually create and, and, and evolve and do new things and challenge themselves. Like I think that's an important part of the process. Mm-hmm. My twist on this is I cannot stand when I go see one of my favorite bands, they do a hit and they change the hit on you. Stop that. Oh. Hey, not you that. Best not, not bitch. Don't Listen do here. Don't do it. Nothing worse the than worst. you're, you're hey. drinking it. You're singing at the top of your lungs, and you know the words. You sing them all the time, oh, and dude. then that bitch up there changes the words on you, and you're like, yeah. "No, I was right. Or, that bitch is wrong." Or if they start to mash up three of the big songs together, and oh, you only do like one, and you get like twenty I don't seconds. Hear a medley yeah. of the yeah. hits. Or a medley. God damn it! Medley. Don't mash up anything. I don't want to hear the remix. Yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? I, I paid want your full, extra beats. I, None of that. I paid full price for this ticket. I will every full song. Yeah, yeah, no, I cannot stand that because I feel like an idiot getting the song wrong when they change the song. <laughs> oh. And then everybody's trying to look at you like you got I know, it wrong. Like, okay. uh, I know. You're drunk. No, I'm not. Well, they're, they're, we're talking about concerts that are like 90 minutes now. They should just do it Springsteen style. They go four hours. They can play, no. you know, all their hits, all the new No, I left. I left. Yeah. I left two hours yeah. ago. Yeah. A few yeah. covers. I mean, just yeah. get it done, you know? Says the biggest There's Springsteen so fan ever. Uh, uh, yeah. The but, beat cut deep tracks. But, yeah. Yeah. Go for it. I will Don't say do it. it, it it's all of the, those bands for you. Bruce Springsteen is like that for you. He can do anything, no wrong, whatever, no, right? That's not true. It's not that he can't do any wrong. I'm just saying he has long ass shows. Oh, yeah, and yeah. you've got more time to work with, you can fit more stuff in. And and Springsteen is one of those artists that's kind of curated. He's cultivated his audience. He's taught his audience. That's always going to be different. Mm-hmm. If you teach your audience that you're, they're just going to hear the greatest hits and then you play half a new damn album, then yeah, that's going to be an issue too, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I would love to do another mass debate over... Um, bands that uh, what do you call jam jam bands because I love that when like Tool Tool is one of my favorite bands of all time if Tool wants to do an 18 minute version of one of their songs I'm there for it a lot of people are like get the F out of here so I feel like that's a whole nother uh, well when it's Tool yeah yeah. the dead oh yeah (laughs) yeah right the Grateful Dead that's another great Chris Uh, Robinson who on his solo shows he turns into the Grateful Dead mm -hmm. like because a lot of people go there and they're like I'm gonna hear the Black Crows no you're not (laughs) no you're not (laughs) no but there's two schools of thought because because there's the artists who are known for the thing, and you know you'll go to these like these '80s shows where they put five and six and seven artists mm-hmm. together, and these guys come out for 15 minutes and they play their hits, and then they go off, and then the next band comes on and plays their hits. If you've got something new to say, because here's the thing, there's a little something you guys are all forgetting. If this is your favorite song, guess what? There is a point in time somewhere, maybe 20, 30, 40 years ago, that you heard it for the first time. Yes. How are you going to know that yes. this is not going to be your next favorite song wow, by this Steve. awesome? That's, That's great. Great. I like that. So, All right. You got to you got to give him a chance. To and play. how exciting was it back in the day when you're watching MTV, you're watching Soundwaves, or you're watching <laughs> and you're listening to the radio and they're like, "Here's a brand new song from so and so," and you're like, "Oh, the new whatever." It was the most exciting thing when your favorite artist drops something new. The culture has changed. It has. You know? So maybe they yeah. need like a DJ announcer to go out there and do it the way that they we heard it on the radio. Oh my or, God, that's brilliant. You know, like a DJ walks out. Yeah, just walks out like, "Here's the new song." <laughs> Oh You're gonna love it, and Caller Twenty Five is gonna win the brand new CD from. I love you better, that idea. You better put it up there, then. 
And we're going to need that. That's right. So long as the person walking around being the DJ is also selling drinks, bringing beer, and throwing right. popcorn. I mean, they Teacher could do all can. that. Right. Teacher, Teacher can. can. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So uh, we've solved concerts for you. We have. We have. <laughs> You're welcome. But it's such a broad topic. We want to know where you stand on this. So uh, drop your comments in. Uh, tell us what you think. Tell us some of your favorite artists that do this or uh, the ones you'd like to. So uh, that's it. We're done. We're done masturbating. Time to get a sandwich. I'm spent. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yeah. Good, get on there.